These attention-seeking females are everywhere, and on the Sean Jones YouTube channel, we are here to expose them. And before we get any haters in the comments who say, Sean, you're being sexist, I'm equally judgmental to both men and women. Go and watch some of my other content. Trigger warning ahead. Check out the latest Jim Gale trend. Anyone else see the irony in the clip that they used to demonstrate their example that girls aren't even bothered that men are staring? They used an example of a woman being interested in the man and looking for the man's attention. <laughs> oh, the irony. The question must be asked. If a girl was training a home in a garage with no mirrors, no Instagram, and no one else around her, would they wear skimpy clothing like they currently do? I don't think they would. In the same way that men will wear clothing that compliments them, or they'll wear vests to show off the muscles a little bit more, to impress both women and other men. Women do exactly the same, it's just that men are more likely to admit it. We know these birds love their attention, you're literally leaving nothing to the imagination. I pretty much know exactly how your body looks. The only thing I don't know is if there's any carpet downstairs. We must stay focused, my brothers. I remember back in the day when you just used to go to the gym and social media barely even existed past Facebook. Ah, the good old days where you could look at a Fitbit, she could look at you, and that'd be the end of it. You wouldn't get plastered all over TikTok. And speaking of posting on social media, why don't you just take the picture on your camera roll and keep it there? Keep it, yeah. Why? Because you feel you f when you take mm. a picture and you and you look at it, you feel wow, like mm -hmm. this would be good for my Instagram. Or I can post it. Yeah, so, so, so okay, so you put it on your Instagram. Yeah. So what would be the difference? Because remember, it's the pictures to make you feel good. Yeah. So, so what would make you feel good on Instagram? The likes, the comments. Okay, the attention. Yeah. The attention. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Full circle. There's... And what I'm not doing, I'm not trying to advocate for cheating. I don't think it's okay. I just think we have to understand where the guys are coming from. You can. Have we ex a... we we expect monogamy and we judge them for cheating, but yet we're not virgins. Yet we have open Instagram accounts. Yet yet we come in with a child. It's like, and then we're going to say, be faithful to me. And they're like, what? Pearl's getting a lot of hate at the moment, mainly from women, because she speaks out against a lot of the stuff that women do. But she's also getting it from men as well. I think a lot of the points that she says are pretty much valid. The problem is she does take a lot of these talking points from other creators in the Red Pill community. That being said, I think she's trying to do good. She just needs to find her own voice. But anyway, I totally agree about the open Instagram accounts. Why is your beard still posting pictures of herself in bikinis and her underwear and a tight, skimpy gym gear? I never expect my girl to change her profile to private, but she does anyway because she respects the boundaries. She doesn't want random lads messaging her, and when they do message her, she ignores them and blocks them without me having to say a thing because I'm the man and I command respect in this household. And it all boils down to confidence in oneself. So if you're in a relationship where your missus is constantly posting provocative pictures, then you need to put your foot down and have words. But here's a good explanation of why they do it. If she is the most beautiful girl in the world, but she is available and accessible to lots, lots of men, and she's disloyal to you, she loses her value mm -hmm. because she makes you look like an idiot and she makes herself look accessible. So without that loyalty factor, and loyalty doesn't just mean she's not sleeping with other men, loyalty also means she's not exposing herself to other men. Now, if other men can still see your girlfriend naked, then less jealous of you. Yeah. Why are they doing that then? No, but let's say, for example, yeah. that they're, they're already in a, rela a relationship yeah. with a, a good guy. Why did they continue to do it? Um, I would say if you're in a relationship with a good guy and being satisfied are two different things. I think when you're with a good guy and he treats you well and he's really kind to you, but if you're a chaotic woman mm. and you crave chaos, what will happen is you always need validation from other men. You always need reminding that you can be with other men whenever you need it. But if you're a woman who's so happy to stop all of that, just to be with one man, you'll stop posting. If your woman is still posting, there's a part of her that doesn't feel totally satisfied with the love you give her. And it's not got nothing to do with you. It might be to do with her own insecurities before she entered the relationship. Mm. And they, they haven't been resolved yet. Wow, incredibly articulated. This girl's a bit of an expert on relationship dynamics. And I think she's bang on the money here. There's a difference between being with a good man 
man and being satisfied. You always say good guys finish last. You've got to know how to work these women. My mom always told me never show women how much you really care about her. Para que te vea pisada, así. Porque es verdad. Tú le, tú le enseñas a la mujer lo que, que tú estás enamorado, que tú no puedes con, sin ella. What this guy's trying to say is right, it's just the delivery is slightly off. You should always show your missus that you care about her, but you should never show her that you need her. It comes off as desperate, and it's not about playing mind games. It should just always be that the woman tends to need and want a man a lot more than the other way around. All you need to do is pay attention to the people around you. If you notice women who go through breakups, you get into relationships fairly quickly. That's a female thing to do because they look for emotional reassurance and validation in men more so than men do in women. Now, men still do it, of course, but women will hop from from man to man to man to man a lot faster than man will hop from woman to woman to woman plus also men don't really have that ability as easy as women do they don't have the same access to women that women do to men so we have to kind of take our time and work on ourselves a little bit more in between and what comes with that is more skill more experiences favor in our career more hobbies expanded social circle so by the time we jump into another relationship we've already expanded our horizons to the point where a relationship is just an addition to your life and not your entire life this is just another deep a reason why women tend to need men a lot more than men need women. Although I'm not speaking in absolutes, we both need each other. There's always going to be these attention-seeking women no matter where you go, although there are still some good gems out there. You just have to look in different places, but you need to get out there in the world and don't just chase these social media birds. Comment down below what you think of these clips, like the video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.